A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to the Vlogathon 5.0. And now, let's get on going with some more of this stuff. This in particular is going to talk a bit about how I have in fact managed to accomplish so well for liquidation. If you haven't already noticed, please do check out ebay.com. Username jnowak80 is pretty much who I am, and I have in fact managed to score a lot just so I could say what I have done. And this is yet another one of those events that have taken place last year. So, of course, let's just talk a bit about it while I can. In 2021 alone, I have sold well over $7,000 worth of stuff in a single summer. So, I feel like that that is a personal record breaker, but I do feel that this probably could have done a whole lot better Yet at the same time, I do have a lot of questions that I could probably have some answers for already, but back then, it was a bit hard to comprehend at the moment. And I do feel that some people out there who have had experience with inventory liquidation, online sales, and the usage of various social media functions as a way of marketing, so they can make themselves some extra bucks on a daily basis or probably at some sort of time frame that seems random but it could be something that you could overall get adjusted to at any given moment well what I would like to talk about specifically is just the fact that liquidation in the year 2021 alone was staggeringly high I could never possibly imagine that someday I actually would do such a good job at that job in particular. Liquidation had been a pretty big thing for me. Being able to help sell people stuff, vintage, antique items, art, clothes, anything that could have autographs on them by famous people. It's all the same, pretty much. A lot of people happen to find that as a unique business to where anything could go for such a high price and you never can tell what could possibly be made as a good deal or a rather expensive load of crap. Now, it's not just with those things, but I do feel like that with the combination of such things including vintage, antique items, jewelry, electronic devices, I do feel like that with the combination of a lot of these things, I've certainly made some good cash left and right just knowing the fact that there's been plenty of occasions thus far, where I have managed to make good amounts of money from this stuff. And that's all dependent on the things that I have sold. Probably the most expensive would be the combination of large Nerf blasters, musical instruments, including a few guitars that I've sold throughout that year, amps and whatnot. And then of course, there was this one moment where I literally sold an entire Traxxas car. Yeah, Traxxas, the famous RC car company, which in this case was a 1 16th scale model of the Slash two-wheel drive, which had itself a massive LiPo motor, brushless. Managed to sell that thing for over 450 bucks, which is huge if you ask me. A lot of Traxxas models could go easily for much higher than that price. And a lot of people are different than others. But I sure did manage to make a nice good deal out of that. And I'm more than sure that the person who bought it is having some fun with it already. But other than that, there's definitely been a lot of other stuff that I have managed to sell off since then. And I'd say this year in 2022, maybe no more than... 40 listings had pretty much gone up and sold. So I suppose that even today, I'm still doing a decent job at it. Probably not as good as it used to be. But I sure can probably assume that someday it might actually get better again. Though I don't see that happening immediately. There's just not a lot of traffic at the moment to where I can successfully make some good money that'll be enough to at least conquer what I got with huge bills that could be piling up at any given moment. 
insurance payments, rent on my studio, not to mention fuel, electricity, water, any of the resources that you could probably imagine, but other than that, not a whole lot I could talk about based on this. So I'll just end it here. But do be sure to stick around on the channel for another segment of the Vlogathon that I will have up and running very soon.